been asking for a house tour. You think that I'm a magical genius when it comes to designing, and I am totally not. Like, a lot of houses are way, way better than this, decorated-wise, but you asked, so here it is. Do not judge or anything like that. Everything I got is totally cheap and not that awesome. So here we go. Here is just a random thing. I got these as a wedding gift four years ago. I think they're from Target. Then I got all of these from Dollar Tree. And they were all see-through, so I just painted them. See? Totally an expensive way to brighten things up. Um, it's fall, so I have a nice fake bouquet of stuff. A welcome thing. And I really love these placemats I got for three bucks at Walmart. I like, just color colors it up. That's a sensey thing. Some personal photos. Um, oh, here, another Pinterest idea is, um, I bought these two separately, both from, I think this was from Michael's and this was from Walmart, and I just hot glue gunned it together. Then these are, these are actual pumpkins. These are fake pine cones, so I got those in there, and then I bought some random thing and put it all in there. Netflix, what am I watching? The five-year engage. My bookcases, which you guys have seen, because you see it in every video. Nothing much has changed about it by any means. More work right over there. A nice painting that somebody painted for me. I really, really, really love it. And this is pretty much my living room right here. And then it extends into, like, the dining room area and then that kind of stuff. So nothing too special. Here is just a couch. Um, random stuff. Um, we have, this is a, this is not real. Well, it's like a heater thing. My husband really likes it. Like, because you can turn it on and it heats and then it has this fire thing. So it looks really cool. Because it gets cold here. A door. These are like really old ancient keys my husband got. A painting, a fall painting. And I got some candles. And then just a window. And this is a Victrola. My husband's very into old kind of stuff. So this is, I don't know when it's from, but it's a Victrola and it plays records and stuff. But it's broken. <laughs> We have an iPad inside of it. <laughs> um, just some candles, some pictures, and up here I have a couple other shelves with some pictures and old camera and that. And then I have that globe and another picture and champagne glass for our wedding. And a lamp, a clock, and a couch. And then I have my coffee table with another one of those placemat things and this really nice fall thing. I love fall, can you tell? Just our TV center, a guitar. Oh no, I'm watching 30 Rock right now. A candle, another candle, other stuff, and Colleen's toys. Here's my kitchen. It is a chaotic mess right now because me and my husband are having a party, a fall party tonight, so I have ingredients everywhere. <laughs> like stuff I'm making for cupcakes, a cuff cupcake thing. I'm making chili tonight. Random box of Honey Nut Cheerios. Some other stuff. A fridge. Colleen! Okay, so this is my office, which you guys probably never see. This is my husband's desk. Note the chaotic wreck that it is. And because he is... He just... That's just how he is. And this is my desk. Which is kind of chaotic up at the very, very top, like right up here. Because I moved some things around. And then, other than that, it's pretty organized. This is a picture. This is actually two pictures that... This is one picture of these two skies. I just cut it and put this in the middle because I really liked it. This is my husband and his dad when he was very rich, much younger. And this is a love thing with two solar power things. That's me and my husband. Once again, a candle. Um, my computer, a random thing. I made a ceramics in high school. Here on this random bookshelf, I got these really old vinyls that my husband used to have because he really loved Elvis Presley and vinyls and stuff. Then an old clock, some flowers, my camera. Um, I have some sample albums, so that's one of them. Just a random drawer, a thank you card from Brad, another album. Painting, another album. And some random stuff in the back. And over here, I just have some closet. And then I'll, sh I'll show you guys some of my photo work. So this is all um, my photos that I've done. Over here. Here is our bedroom. Nothing too interesting in here. This is our bed. Um, oops. I just made it, so it's probably looking like crap. Um, it's got this kind of springish 
kind of look to it. I like the leaves and I like all that in between. We have a random dresser, a closet, which I'll show you guys again. This is my side, this is my husband's side, and this is just dirty stuff. There's Colleen, and this is where she sleeps at night. Just a little tiny bed I made out of a makeshift bedspread. <laughs> um, over here I have just these two shelves hold some of my perfumes. Um, what is this? Ralph Lauren, Midnight Fantasy, and Warm Vanilla Sugar. There's another picture of me and my husband. This little birth thing I got from Michaels. Sorry, it's kind of dusty. <laughs> Pink Chiffon from Bath & Body Works, Secret Wonderland from Bath & Body Works, and Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. This thing. I actually made it. I found that idea on Pinterest. And um, I just got a really old piece of driftwood kind of thing. My husband found it for me. And I bought different knobs from Lowe's. And then you just screw them in there. And I put all my necklaces on there, which I'll show you some of them. I'm really into leaves in autumn, if you guys cannot already tell. I'm sure the guys of this um, watching this probably hate it. But, um, I do love jewelry. I don't wear much of these necklaces. I'm not a huge, big necklace lover. Here I have, I keep all my hair product stuff. Just, you know, the basics. I have Chi and some Aussie and some Tresemme and John Frieda and some, oh, you need this for sure. Heat protectant people. Um, random stuff. Over here holds all my dangly, dangly, um, earrings. So, um, when I bought this, this looked completely different. It was a pink, it was pink, it was bright pink, and I had this huge flower at the top, and it was $5, which um, I said I can totally change this. So I took off the flower, and I just painted it white, because I think white is just very classic looking. So I love earrings, too. So these are all my earrings. This is all makeup. I'm not, like, crazy, though. Um, this is something else I made, another idea from Pinterest. Um... It is the old oatmeal container, which I just um, took all the oatmeal out of, cleaned it, then put a kind of scrapbooking thing on it, and I put my headbands on because I love headbands too. And inside, I keep all of my hair ties, um, bows, and stuff. Okay, so right here are my most warm perfumes. I have Cherry Balls from Bath & Body Works and Pink Sugar, which I love. I love it so much. Um, then I have, what is this? DKNY Cherry Blossom. I love Cherry Blossom. Um, this is a random thing I found from Dollar Tree. I just hold all my bobby pins. Here is my small jewelry case. I really want something bigger, but whatever. My hairbrush, random. Um, rings. Oh, these are all my studs. I love studs, earrings. Nice stuff like that. Sailor. And here is probably a lot of my um, most worn necklaces. Then I have some bracelets of that nature. La la. Good. So we're having a party tonight and I'm doing cupcakes and all that kind of stuff and I just bought this thing from Walmart. It's like a frosting thing and I'm usually all about frosting so let's see how it goes. So I finished the first one and it's amazing. Look at that. Does it not frost amazingly? So I am heading to the gym right now. Um, I really don't want to go because <sighs> I've been so much lately. Like these past couple weeks, I've been in the gym like two or three times during the daytime for like a total of like two to three hours sometimes. And the reason for that is because I'm really, really, really trying to lose 80 pounds by May. And that's a necessity. Like it has to happen. I need to make it happen. And I know like going to the gym is very essential, but I'm starting to get burnt out. Like t like yesterday I didn't go at all. Today I really don't want to go. I'm just very tired. I don't know what it is. Have you guys ever had that? This is like the third week into my diet. Like my really insane diet. And I've lost 10 pounds already. So I mean, things are, sorry, things are going good. It's just, I'm getting so burned out. Does anybody have any remedies or anything to help with that? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going. Even though I don't want to go, I am going. Okay, so I've been addicted to Pinterest lately, so I'm doing some crafting, and I thought I would take you on the journey. So right here, I just have this empty frame I've had, and then I just um, tape some, like, what is it, hemp along it, and then I'm going to do some pictures on it, and we'll see how it turns out. It may suck, it may not. Either way, it didn't cost me too much money, like maybe three bucks, so we'll see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I am not too sure of it right now. I feel like it's like way too much going on. I might just take it down and put that other or another thing I had up there already. But so far I mean I kinda like it but it's not like 
wowing me. Like Another craft for you all that you can totally do that I already love. These are all frames I got from the dollar store. Yes, it's right, the dollar store. They cost me a dollar each. And they were all crappy colors, like that silver generic stuff, or plain all black. And, um, I brought, I already had spray paint of these two colors, which is this teal and this pretty green. And I just spray painted them, and I also bought magnets. They were attached to something, but I just bought, I just got them out of it anyway. Also from the dollar store, and I'm going to hot glue gun the magnets back to the back of the picture frames and put them up on my fridge. Okay, so this is what it looks like afterwards. So, you know, I just put some, of course I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this off. Because um, that dollar store frame, these two frames were connected. So it's got this crappy thing right here. Crappy thing right there. That is my husband, which is me right there. Um, like, seven years ago. Then that's us, our engagement pictures, which was also like four years ago. Um, because we just celebrated our four-year anniversary. Um, this is our dog, Colleen, and this is just a photo I took at a trip. And I think it makes the fridge look very neat and just really nice instead of having magnets everywhere. Today my goal is to make this closet that is crazily unorganized with everything in it organized. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do it, but I'm still not sure how. So this is the final project, the work. Um, I can't do nothing about that up there. That's just going to have to stay that way. Um, but I bought three tins. All them that cost a dollar from Target. I mean, geez. Um, and here, wait, which one? I'll start this one. Here I just have my paint and glue and all that kind of stuff. And here I have some tape and random other stuff. And this one is completely random. I'm crafting yet again, and I'm going to show you guys what I am. I'm going to show you guys what I'm making. I am making these cool Scrabble coasters. I have one right there, one right there. I made these two different ways. I feel like this one looks better, and I feel like this one is held together better. But I'm going to show you guys how I do it. All you need is a cork board. This is just a simple one you pick at Walmart. It's just a cork board. Nothing too fancy about it. And just Scrabble letters. I pulled these from my Scrabble game because I never play them, ever. And I'm only making three because I can't find any other word to spell. Um, and you just spell out words like I have true, save, kind, joy, and over here I have love, wish, calm, and dear. And over here I have God, hope, love, and pray. You also need a hot glue gun. And all you want to do is cut the cord, um, the cork board, excuse me, into the right shape. And then you just hot glue gun them on. You can either, like this one, I just hot glue gun them on to the actual cork board. And they're, like it's, it, hold, it holds good, but it's kind of like... You can see that. With this one, I hot glue them gun together, and then I... So that one's totally good, but it's kind of, like, crazy. So after you're done gluing them all stuff, you just want to spray it over with some sealant. I just have this, um, shortcuts sealant. Great for wood. Blah, blah, blah. And this is the finishing touch. They're kind of darker since you, you know, sealed them and stuff. But you want to let them dry for, I'd say, like, probably a day or so. And there you have it. 